Hey y'all, out here at the uh, Good Guys Nashville Nationals uh, 2014, and uh, I'm in the Builder Showcase area, so there's uh, plenty of nice cars back here, but uh, one of the ones I want to show you is probably, a, man, I, I just love these hot rod pickup trucks, and I'm a big fan of uh, Talbot Goldman. He's uh, a friend of mine that's built that Studebaker truck that everybody likes. They've come up with another one, a 57 Chevy pickup truck with a 64 Corvette interior. How cool is that? Let me show you. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a look at it. Talbot, how are you, brother? Doing good, Scotty. How are you? Not too bad. Tell me, uh, I told you how bad you rocked this truck. Tell me what you've done to it, though. Ah, uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, well, first thing I can say is that, uh, the customer wanted to run it head on with a vet. So basically, you can say when you look at the inside, that's basically what you got. Uh, right. Took a 64 vet dash, wide it two inches. Well, let's go up here and look at this interior so you can right. explain it to me. Open that door if you don't mind. Because we'll want to look at what you're talking about. So it, 64 dash, and then what'd you do? It didn't took it fit wide in here. It, uh, two inches, so to fit the profile of the, the cab of the pickup. Uh, you had to widen it? Yeah. Seemed like a vet would be wider than a truck. You would think. You would think, because yeah, the tape measure think. says different. That's right, you're right. <laughs> you can't argue with that. Uh, I did it column, came about like an early vet, you know. I had Alan Johnson do the console, the seats, carpet, door panels. He did a very nice job. Everything turned out good. Now, do you um, had to cut that console down in the middle there? Yeah. So shorten it or to, widen it? I had to widen the console too. Wow. And you, so there's a weld somewhere in that dash? No, it's all glass. All glass. Yes, all glass. Wow. Man, that is cool. Now, did you have a donor 64 vet you pulled that interior out of, or did you, mm -hmm. yeah? Man, oh, uh, I like that air conditioned deck. That's a vent, it's I guess, on the side. It's yeah. all stuff. Really? Yeah. I it's guess awesome. you just don't notice it. Man. Dude. All right. That's ah, beautiful. Well, what else you got going on? Yeah, the bed size down here. Did away with all the bolts on the inside of the bed. Built the inlay there. Kind of matched front and rear of the inside of the bed. That bed wood product on the inside. Is that real wood? It is. Is there a gas cap somewhere? It's right, right here. Yeah. Okay, cool. And so that would have that would have been like fenders or something. Uh, something, you yeah, know. You'd normally you'd have your bolt holes. Okay. We took wind it, roll it, roll this. A lot of metal work here. Built the rear bumper. Well, that bumper, are the ends stock or do you The ends are stock, we press broke the center. Take it all together, belt sanding, a lot of belt sanding, a lot of metal working, get her slick. Holy smokes, and then that's, that tailgate's pretty original, but then you kind of modernize yeah. it by boxing it in. Yeah, right here. I got gotcha. you. Man, oh my, dude. I love it, man. What size wheels are you running on it? 22 by 10 on the rear, 20 by 8s on the front. I love the red line tires. What kind of wheels are those? Uh, shot. That's the shot velocity wheel. Velocity, man, that is cool. Took 55 T Bird uh, door handles, integrated them into the side of the door. Can you open that door for me? Yeah. Awesome, man. Oh, but you rocked it, brother. Thank you, man. Man. Tell tell everybody, you got a website? Uh, it's MikeGoldmanCustoms.com. And where's your shop located? Meridian, Mississippi. Cool. Man, top-notch work. Let's get to the engine compartment and see what we got going up there. This is a beautiful truck, guys. Holy smokes, man. I love that stack, right? That is cool. That's a uh, Imagine Injection, all aluminum 454Z01. Made 200 of those engines. <laughs> Wow. How many horsepower do you dyno it? It's, uh, what is it, 5? 580. 580? Man, oh, wow. I love what you did on the firewall back there, too. I love that. A lot of work going on back there. Well, I mean, it's got some style to it. Mm -hmm. You love where you made, like, the, the I don't Little know, insets. The insets, that's right, yeah. yeah. But then you went, like, satin. That's right. Oh, kind of too. Bring out the satin and all this here. Right. And that's so shiny down in there, you uh -huh. can't even see what's going on down there. It just looks really Built panels, clean. Yeah. Your steering and everything. Dude. I took the stock front bumper, sucked it up, you know, narrowed it a little bit. Man, a whole lot. 
Well, I'm going to step back and do a, a quick walk around on it, Tal. But again, thank all you for uh, thank all you, you do. Dude, you build, I mean, folks, if you're looking for a cool project and you're in his area, Mississippi, that's the place to go. So anyways, let's take a walk around and see what we got. I'm going to try to get back and get you all a good walk around of this truck. Here's the cool thing. Um, the shop to build it hasn't come up with a name for it yet. And so what they're going to do is they're going to let us make some suggestions. So 30 days from the day that I post the video, um, you will be able to uh, put a comment on the video of what you think the truck should be named. And if they think that's a good name, that's what it'll be named. And then we're all, uh, I'm going to send you a t-shirt and uh, Goldman's going to send you a t-shirt too. How cool will that be? So anyways. <laughs> Man, that is a cool truck. I love those red line tires. And you know when I'm excited about a shop that it's, that's somebody I trust and somebody that does good work. And every time Talbot shows up with something new, I always want to see it because it's usually way cool. And I think you all agree this truck is no exception. Very cool. You see them with the C5 and the C6 interiors in them. But man, when's the last time you would have seen one with a C2 interior in it? Man, that is cool. So anyways, there you go, folks. Nice 57 Chevy from the good guys, Nashville Nationals, 2014. Added bonus on this one is that, uh, hey, Scotty D uh, TV subscriber could be the person that names this truck. I know y'all are creative and uh, you like to be involved. So put it together. Let us know what you think it should be called. See ya.